how was I fine that morning? And, uh, you know, I was helping the kids with the homeschooling, doing the jobs, hanging out the washing. And the next minute, you get this phone call. And then two hours later, I'm sitting in the hospital ward telling, they're telling me I've got blood cancer. My name's Esther and I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukaemia when I was 41. Around the time of the first lockdown, um, we had been going to work as normal because I work as a nurse in a doctor's surgery. Um, we'd started wearing masks at work and I would sometimes come home with a bit of a sore throat on the days when I was at work. And then it settled down. And then um, one occasion, um, uh, the sore throat just didn't go away and it turned into tonsillitis and started feeling quite unwell with that. Um, ended up having to have a course of antibiotics um, to clear that. And after a few days, I started feeling better and I was preparing to go back to work the following week. But after um, I started feeling better, I started to notice that I was getting a bit of a strange rash that had developed all over sort of my arms and my chest. And as I looked a bit more closely, it looked as though there were tiny bruises. And although I felt OK, I just knew that something probably wasn't quite right. So made an appointment to um, go and see my GP. So we had a telephone consultation, first of all, um, and she asked me to go down to the surgery. So she had a look at this rash. Um, she thought maybe it could have been a reaction to the antibiotics that I'd taken. But I also had um, a few odd bruises around as well that I knew I hadn't really done anything to. Um, and generally, she just wasn't sure. So she said, while you're here, um, we'll get the nurse to take some blood from you. So that was what she did, um, had a blood test taken and then went home, not really thinking too much about that. About three hours later, got a phone call from the surgery. Um, it was the doctor who I'd seen that morning and she just said, I'm really sorry, we've got the results back from your blood tests and it looks like you've got leukaemia. To say it was a bombshell is, was an understatement because I didn't feel unwell. And I thought, like, I'm a nurse, I would know if there was something really wrong and I, I'm, I'm okay I'm fine I just uh, yeah I just couldn't take it in at all got the kids together said you know I'm gonna I have to go to hospital you need to go, you need to get in the car just threw a few things in a bag not really thinking that I would be there any particular length of time um got in the car and we drove from our house to the hospital just about 20 minutes away basically not knowing what to tell them really because we didn't know what was we didn't really know what was going on what was going to happen because of COVID, obviously, you weren't allowed any visitors. So basically, that they had to drop me off at the front door and leave me to go in and find out what was going on. And um, yeah, just not knowing basically what would happen. Or I mean, I didn't really think whether I would see them again, but yeah, I guess you just don't know in that situation. So yeah, that was that was quite hard.